We all know human jobs are being replaced by robots. First, factory workers, then Uber drivers, now baristas? That's what's happening at Cafe X, which just opened here in a mall in San Francisco. It may not sport a hip mustache, but that white claw knows its way around espresso drinks. Tap your order on a phone or at a kiosk, specifying your chosen confection and picking a locally roasted bean. Then in 25 to 55 seconds, the Cafe X robot pulls a cup, foams the milk, and serves up your customized beverage. A robot latte will run you $2.95, 40 cents less than at Starbucks. At launch, Cafe X only makes eight ounce espresso drinks with regular milk, but that little claw can add a few flavor shots for no extra charge. There's no algorithm for experience, but like a human barista, the Cafe X robot can adjust recipes on the fly based on temperature and humidity. And unlike a human, that robotic arm keeps the orders flying at a rate of about two per minute. There's no miscommunication or inconsistencies. The idea is to cut back on lines, though we'll have to see how it handles the morning rush. Cafe X launched first in Hong Kong and so far has raised $5 million in venture funding. It says beyond malls and airports, it's targeting corporate and college campuses. It's not yet clear what roles robots will play in the future of food. There's been a lot of experimentation in San Francisco. A grilled cheese chain called The Melt introduced mobile ordering and semi-automated tech that tells you how long you're gonna have to wait for your food. Another called Itza automates the serving process. Your meals just pop up behind these screens with your name on it, even though they're made by humans. Cafe X pushes the envelope because the robotic prep is part of the entertainment. It's mesmerizing to watch. This human, called a concierge, is on hand to make sure the robot is up and running and to deal with any customer confusion. Is this your first time working for a robot? It is. Cafe X even mostly cleans itself, though its makers had to prove that to the health department, which doesn't have many rules for robot chefs, yet. One thing this robot can't do, make those hip barista foam designs. But that can't be too far from an upgrade. 